right, so what's one of the worst things that you can think of that you have to wait for? For me, it's any kind of call into a customer service line. You know, the waiting with the terrible music and the robotic voice that keeps telling me how important my phone call is to them. You know, the one like every time it comes on, you get that small glimmer of hope that a real life person's getting ready to say hello. And then it's just the same voice again. And I'm left waiting again. Now I know I'm being super dramatic about a customer service call, but there really does come a point sometimes when you're waiting even for something as silly as that, that you start to lose hope that anybody's gonna come to your rescue. And it makes me wonder, what would it be like if we were in an actual crisis? Like one of Paul and Silas, these guys were arrested for preaching Jesus. They were thrown into the prison they had no idea how long they'd be there. They didn't even know if they were going to escape with their lives. And they did the one thing that they knew they could do, and that was ask God for help. It really is a miraculous story, and you can read the whole thing in Acts 16. But here's the summary. God was faithful to Paul and Silas. And while we're waiting, God is faithful to us too.